yo this has been uh, an emotional roller coaster for me because this is a simple look but nothing was coming out right hmm hey guys and welcome to my channel this is Fadila here welcome to my beauty room in today's video we're going to be doing this look right here to be honestly it's a really simple look it's just mistake after mistake I was just getting over it it was just it wouldn't just it wouldn't go well for me and as I'm talking I realized I didn't even blend on the concealer underneath my eyeliner you know what mm. anyway but this is a really easy simple look I honestly woke up this morning I think I mentioned in the video and all I thought was yellow so I was like fine we're gonna do yellow so I liked the look like honestly had I not ruined the eyes with the setting spray this would have come out even more better honestly I think what do you guys think if you guys want to see how I got this look right here then stay tuned before I actually get started if you have not registered to vote guys please vote because again um, it determines what our country is going to be like in four years so please register to vote and please stay safe in this COVID stuff wear a mask protect yourself and without further ado let's get into the video all right, so honestly, I woke up this morning and all I thought was yellow. So I decided I'm gonna do an eyeshadow look that is a beautiful, bright yellow look. And I was like, why don't I just put like a liner on it, a blue liner? So I have my blue liner here that's I've had for a long time. I don't know if it's still working. It's like a really cheap liner. Um, do you know how hard it is to find a palette or an eyeshadow that's yellow? I have a bunch of eyeshadows. I have over, I wanna say over 50 eyeshadow palettes and none of them had yellows in them um that way shimmers i wanted a matte yellow eyeshadow and i couldn't find them in any other palettes except the black owned or black influenced palettes oma beauty and this is the black magic carnival palette Ooh. and there we go a bright yellow the shayla x color pop um palette from last year and there is the yellow color the third one being the Afrique by Juvia's place and there it is bright yellow so let me know in the comments below if you own any palettes that have a bright yellow in it and maybe I'm just bugging um, because so far all of them I found with these three out of the billions of palettes that I have now I'll, I'll show you guys if I have time so to start honestly lately I've been into just using this as a primer the Rare Beauty, uh, what is this called? Always an Optimist 4 in 1 Setting Mist. Today I'm going to be using something that I haven't used in a long time. This is the Hourglass Foundation. You guys, I don't think anybody's talking about this foundation anymore. It's actually a really good foundation, and I use the shade Almond. I don't think that's the perfect shade for me. Every time I do my makeup, the face is slightly darker. I think I don't think it's darker, it's more discolored. But yeah, it's, it's just darker than the, the body. So generally, my foundations start out looking crazy. And then once it's nice and blended in, that it's about to be, it doesn't look as crazy anymore. We don't want that. Going in with my Oma Beauty uh, Contour and Stick. I'm gonna try and use this to fix it. You know, generally the contours as well as that fix everything. I look crazy. Crazy. I'm not really proud of how the base came out. And if you're wondering, this is the Collab Concealer in the shade Mocha. So I'm going to set the whole thing and leave it alone because we're done. We're done. Okay. Huda Beauty and my Black Radiance Translucent Powder. I'm going to set the rest of the face with my mineralized skin finish by MAC Cosmetics and it's in the shade Dark Tan. And I should use this just for the new thing. I'm going to use it all on. This is our finishing powder. It's 
the finishing powder. I'm going to set the rest of the face and give me a nice finish. No, you know, realize I'm not putting anything on the lids. I want my lids wet. Still wet. Because I don't like to put a, a light concealer because I feel like dark skinned people should be able to use colors as well. So if they're, if they're formulating their products, they should make it pigmented enough where I should be able to use it. I have three palettes to work with, and I'm going to choose one. I think the Juvia's Place one is too bright for me. I think I'm going to work with the ColourPop X uh, Shayla and the Black Magic Carnival by Oma Beauty. So going into the Oma Beauty, grabbing Barbados, and Barbados is the yellow color fallout there's a lot of fallouts on this one and i'm going to work so i do need to be careful i'm going to stamp this on pigmented i'm going to stamp this on when there's something for it to stick to see this is why i will need a concealer because pigment is everything this palette is pigmented Okay, pigment is everything. I'm already starting up looking crazy. Color pop, and it's, it's in the shade Caution. They're both the same color. They're both the same color. So, actually, I feel like this one is more. No, they're both the same color. Sort of that I can actually just stick with one. And as you guys see, I'm staying on the, in this crease. If I look up, the crease is the same. And if I'm looking up. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. You guys, that way I have it in my crease, but it's not looking crazy. Let me start with the Shayla one, see how that one sits on this one here. Oh. The Shayla collection, oh, there we go. I feel like this is still let me use a different brush. This is a different brush. It's the same brush, basically, because I keep buying the same thing. I'm grabbing the Sheila palette product. All right, so either mine is a little bit too old. I bought it last year. Okay, there we go. It's like, where are you, girl? All right, so uh, the Oma Beauty palette is more pigmented, has more, um, this one is more down. The Oma Beauty one is more pigmented than the Shayla one, and it, it, it looks brighter than the Shayla one. So I'll stick with the Oma Beauty. This is Oma. See the difference? Oma Beauty one is better. Uh, that is a bright color. You know who used a yellow, did a yellow look that was really cool? Jackie Aina, she did some yellow ass like look the one time and it was really cool but she had some other stuff in there it was like bold and really cool really beautiful palette too and I'm gonna grab this color right here and I'm gonna use that as transition I don't need my transition color to look bold I just need it to help the eyeshadow not look like it's the only thing on my lid oh see that's bold And I'm gonna layer it the way it used to look before a rule basically ruined it. Oh, it's easily fixed. I'm going to get rid of the yellow fallouts underneath my eyes. I wanted to do like a blue liner, a blue, old blue liner. But I don't have a, a, any other blue line except this one. And I feel like this is a, uh, it's not a good one. It's broken, it's ruined. So, so I found two liners by ColourPop. The dark one and then the, the light one. These are the colors right here. See, it's not showing up. It's showing up on my, my bare skin, but on here it's not showing up all right we, we we're just gonna leave it alone i wish i had a blue liner i'm 
moving on, we're just gonna leave it alone. I wanted to go in with a, a wing liner to seal the deal. Blue wing, I feel like a blue wing would have definitely sealed the deal. You know what I'm saying? Like a blue wing would have done it. To give it that cat eye effect. All right, maybe next time we'll do a blue liner with a different color. You can have yellow in here. Have I ever had eye a yellow eyeshadow on my channel? I don't think so. All right, for this, I feel like any lash would work, right? In my previous video, we used Tool by Kiss. Today, we're going to be using Lacey. This is the Tarte one. I'm still using this one until I'm ready to, for a new one. So we're just gonna coat the lashes. So Julia's Place has some beautiful blushes, but they also have some scary looking blushes. This is me. <laughs> it's so scary. I feel like if I make one mistake, I'm so screwed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this with the Rare Beauty Mist. Oh, my eyeshadow is wet. That's not good. It toned down my eyeshadow. <laughs> I should not have wet it up. Wet it, huh? Is it too late? Just don't, don't, you guys, don't set the eyes. I, I know why YouTube has always covered the eyes and wouldn't set tear breaker. But win. I can't, I just can't win. Like, it's just always going to be a mess up somewhere. Can't win! So, the face is done. I just have to go ahead and put on some lips. So, same old, same old nude situation. Grabbing my Oma Beauty contouring, contour. Product. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to line the lip. That works for me. If you don't like that, just get yourself a dark brown, if you're a dark skin anyway, dark brown uh, pencil. I see this works really well and it fits down really nicely. It just works for me. And then I'm gonna go over this with my Smashbox uh, lipstick in this shade, Stepping Out. And let me kinda lightly. So is this my favorite look? It was going to be, it, it was looking good until I set the lid, right? But it's not bad, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. Okay guys, this is the final look. What do you think? Um, the only thing that went wrong, one of the few things that went wrong, was the fact that I set my lid, so I had to go over it again and just layer it with the, the yellow. Oh my god, I put the brush in my water. All right, you guys, that's it. Okay, you guys, that is it for the video. What do you guys think? I didn't like the base because I tried, I used my hourglass foundation and it looked, oh wait, I'm not even, I'm not about to walk out here with a flat nose. We are seriously not about to walk out here with a flat nose. So, that is it for the look. Um, apart from the fact that I set my lids and ruined the eyes, um, actually it didn't come out bad. I may or may not redo this look depending on how it looks, but I actually like it. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I am actually do a blue version of this look. I like how simple it is. It shouldn't even take you long to get this done. This video is going to be so short. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and please stay safe in this whole COVID situation. Don't forget to vote, voting is very, 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 very important. It's going to determine what our country is going to be like for the next four years. So please don't forget to vote. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful.